to have sinned. I believe you can convince us that God's word shouldn't be taken so seriously. Once was a story about a young lady who had church with her mother. The preacher began to preach about heaven and hell. He said many people think that they're going to heaven just because they live a good life. Because they did charity work. Because they never cursed and never stole anything. I mean, should we be good people? Absolutely. We shouldn't steal. We shouldn't curse. There's some who think, well, I never broke the law. I never got a ticket. I never smoked. I never did drugs. I never, I never went to jail. I just go to church every week. Shouldn't we be good people? Absolutely. But we can only examine our eyes through the one who is the only one who shows us the way. The proof is Jesus. He's the only one who can save us. The preacher said there are two calls from the grave. The call from above. Those in heaven want us to be saved. Come on. Jesus wants us saved. 2 Peter 3, 9 says that the Lord is not slack in his promises, but his long suffering toward us that we should not perish, but all should come. And if those loved ones of ours who have died and gone to heaven, do you think they want to see us again? Come on. In Luke 15, it says, There is joy in heaven over one sinner who believes. Those in heaven know the truth about eternal life. Heaven is a real place for them. Some cults teach that heaven is a state of mind. Others have said that we make our own heaven here on earth. But the Bible says heaven is a real place. Jesus said, I know a place 